Hi, this is Jerry Barton, Civil Technical Specialist with Autodesk. The purpose of today's presentation is to show how to use Civil 3D 2010 to create custom line types. The Civil 3D ships on top of full AutoCAD, which includes a full set of predefined line types. However, there will be times when you want to create some custom line types of your own. Fortunately, the process of creating custom line types is a very easy one. So let's begin. What I have on the screen is I've got three line segments that I've drawn with just standard entities to represent the three categories of custom line types we would typically like to create. The first one is just a series of geometry that represents dashes and dots. The second is represents line work that has embedded text. And finally, the third one is line type that has uh, embedded symbology. So let's see how we can leverage the tools within Civil 3D to create a custom line uh, or line type with each one of these categories. So we'll begin by going to Express Tools. I'm going to come down underneath Tools and we'll use the Make Line Type command. And I'm going to store my custom LIN, which is a definition for this line type. We'll just say CL1 for custom line in a, in a .lin file on my desktop. It'll ask me to give a new custom line type a name. We'll call it CL1. And I can give it a description, something perhaps more descriptive that people would use in the future when they reference this line. We'll just call it a custom line. And I need to specify a starting point. It's going to begin here. And when it asks me to specify the end point, the end point would not be the end of what I've drawn, but instead the end point at which these segments start to repeat. So I'll select it right here. And then finally, which objects make up my custom line, I'll use a crossing box to grab those repeating entities, that those repeated over and over will define my custom line. So with those selected, we hit enter. Our custom line is automatically created and also installed. So let's test it. We'll go to home. I will create a new line from the midpoint of here to here. With that line segment created, let's quickly use the quick properties to force our new line to see that it works. CL1. And what we see on the screen is a new custom line type that matches perfectly the geometry we use to define it. We'll see that unlike the geometry now, we can stretch and extend this using grips and we've got a new custom line. Now, we'll do the same process for the second category where we have embedded text. The only caveat here is the text that we will define to add to part of our definition, we'll want to make sure that we define it properly. So I'm going to use the style command and I've already created a text style that's going to be set up specifically for text that's embedded in lines. I've given it an SHX font style that's going to work much better than true type. And then finally, the height, the key is we're going to set the height to zero. What that will do is as we change our LT scale or the scale within our drawing, the text will get bigger and smaller as it should. So with that being done, we'll go through the same process we did with the first one. Express tools, come down. Make line type. This one will be uh, perhaps a uh, custom line and we'll give it the name text. We will uh, give it a name. Perhaps this would be uh, gas would be most appropriate. Perhaps gas main would be best for the description. It will begin here. It will repeat here. And these are the two objects that will make up our definition. When I right click, my line type has been created and also loaded. Let's test this one as well. We'll create a line on the screen to represent our new gas main. And using our quick properties, you can see that it matches exactly the geometry that was used to create it. And much like the segment above it, as we grip at it that, we see that we have a true line type definition that has the word gas embedded in it. The final one is one that includes a line, custom line that includes symbology. In this case, I've drawn some arcs in a line segment to represent what we would typically use in my location uh, to represent corporate limits. So that's my corporate limit symbol. Now, the only thing that we'll do different in this case than we did in the prior two is we will take the geometry to make up our symbol and we will convert that into a special AutoCAD shape. And that shape will then be used as part of our line, line type definition. Let's do this for the Express Tools. Under Tools, there is an option to make shape. We will give this shape a name, um, leave it on my desktop, we'll perhaps call it uh, Corp Limits. The uh, name of the shape that we will use within 
our simple environment, we'll call it port. And I'll put in a resolution of 128. The higher the number, the more detailed the geometry. 128 of the default is fine. Base point is kind of like the insertion on a block. To say I'd like it inserted at the midpoint, the geometry that makes up my shape will be these three objects here. Right click and our shape has been created. Let's go ahead and erase the geometry that made up the shape. And let's replace that with our newly defined or newly created pork shape. So I'll use the command, I'll type in shape. The name of the shape is going to be our pork limits. Oops, we'll corp. And the insertion point is going to be, we'll use the midpoint between two points to relocate that same one. The uh, default height for the uh, shape will be one. Rotation will be zero. That will match exactly what we had before. So now our, our individual geometry components have been transformed into a shape. That shape definition can now be quickly embedded within a custom line type. Let's come up to the top, Express Tools, much like we did earlier. Make line type. This will maybe be custom line symbol. And I'm putting these each in individual line files. We can certainly later embed them all within one. The line type name will say Corp Limits. Get something a little bit more descriptive for the description. Start point, it will begin here. It will repeat at this point, and these are the two objects that make up our custom line. Finally, let's test this one. Line will begin at the, say, the end point of here to the end point of this one. And much like we did previously, we will associate our new line type. Matches our individual geometry. And finally, if we grip edit that, we see that we have a true custom line type definition. So, having completed that, uh, within less than 10 minutes, we're able to create, using the Express tools within Civil 3D 2010, any of the custom line types we would ever want to use. Having said this, because it is the Express tools themselves are embedded within Map and also AutoCAD, this same tip or trick could be used in either of those applications as well. Once again, my name is Jerry Bartle, Civil Technical Specialist with Autodesk, and that concludes today's presentation.